Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today we're taking a look at the new Divi update version 4.15. It's the new background mask and patterns. Let's take a look at this new update. So of course you can check out their blog post and their video and as always, you know, I'm not trying to take away from that. Every time Divi has a new feature update, I try to do my own video to help explain it, but it's not meant to take the place. It's meant to complement theirs. And so um, a lot of times they don't really show you the settings. They kind of more show a marketing angle. Um, so that's what I like to do here, show a little more of the settings. So I do have um, a little bit of it written up on my blog post. That would be linked in the description, but basically it's just showing some screenshots and some write-ups on what is available. And we're just gonna show you that actually right here in the screen. In fact, let's take a really quick look at the change log. So basically at pacreative.com slash Divi change log is where we have a, um, a simplified version. It's a lot easier to, to read. Okay, so here it says March 17th, 2022, version 4.15. And here are the changes. So um, they added the new background mask uh, feature and background pattern feature. So it's kind of like two separate features in a way. Um, here they also snuck something in here, added new background image size option. Now, I have no idea why you would use this, but I'll show that to you. Um, and then they also did um, background image offset options. I saw that in the patterns and mask, I think. Um, the option to place gradient above background image now works with parallax. And it looks like copying and pasting now works with specialty sections. That's nice. And then there's some other fixes. All right, so here I have an example. I have two sections. Now, I do need to point out this, this update is in sections, rows, columns, modules. It's not just sections, right? So when you go to the background toggle in the content tab, you can see now there's six tabs. There used to just be these first four. Well, now there's background and mask, right? And again, these are in, like if I click on this module, right? They're in the modules, they're in the, the, the rows. Let me check the columns to be sure. Yep, they're in everything, okay? So I just wanted to point that out. I guess a lot of times you would probably use them in a section, so. Anyway, let's take a look at the first one. The first one was a background pattern. So first of all, just select one. Uh, it picks the first one, polka dots, but here you can see all the options. All right, so, you know, you can kind of look through here. These are SVGs, so they're very small and tiny. They won't, um, in fact, I could show you how tiny they are. They're, they're really tiny, like they're just tiles, right, that make a pattern. Um, let's see. Can see all the options uh, and then of course there are settings once you select one of these so like now I have like color right let's see if that works yeah so like I've selected the uh, pattern color you can also flip it um, horizontally which that's not doing anything with this pattern a little bit with that one you can rotate it <laughs> and this one's like an invert right because you see how it was like red and white see that that's interesting. Let me let me switch here real quick. Um, I was trying to find one where you could see it like actually flipping. <laughs> that was like the, the wrong choice. Whoa, some of these are a little much. Yeah, anyway, you, you get the idea there. Actual size, fit, stretch, custom size. This custom size is what they were saying is new. I'm not sure. I guess you, or you can adjust the size of it. That's kind of, okay. Okay, I see. That's interesting. So the the pattern is like a little tiny square that's repeated. Actually, it's repeated if we say it's repeated. If it's not repeated, boy, you know, that would be this tall, right? And I could change that. You, you see what I'm saying? Um, if it was repeated the other way, you could see how wide it was, I guess. All right. All right. So anyway, it's just that object that is repeated. So when we're changing the custom size, the width and height, that's changing that. I love that, that's a nice feature. Let me just reset here quick because it's getting a little crazy. Um, what else do we have? We have the pattern offset and then the repeat and the blend mode. So that's referring to if I already had, 
you know, some color selected, right? And then when I'm in blend mode, in fact, let me say it's like that. I think this, yeah, see, it's going to blend with the other background elements based on these blend modes, okay? Uh, it's pretty standard stuff. There you go, that's the patterns. Reset that again. Let's take a look at the masks. Um, okay, the first one is, oh, do I have it selected on white? Okay. There you can see a shape. Actually, let's look here, yeah. So some of these are a little crazy. I have this color so that you could see through it. I'm gonna get rid of it just so you can now get a better view of this thing. Wow, some of these are nice. Some are not so nice in my opinion. Let's see what this does. Aspect ratio, square or vertical. It kind of just changes the shape of it a little. There you go. That's a good use case for that, flipping it. Vertical and horizontal, or turning it. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Um, yeah, very interesting. Some of these are quite interesting. All right, and then here's this mask size. And again, if we would choose one of these other ones, custom size, we could say, oh, what did I do to it? Oh, there, wow. So custom size for a mask is a little different than it would be for a pattern. Yeah, it's literally like a shape in the background for, a, for the mask. So I don't know if that's very helpful. You would probably want to keep that on, on cover. Yeah, is that what it's on by default? Stretch to fill. Yeah, okay, stretch to fill will stretch and warp the shape. Cover would keep it like as it's originally shaped. So you could choose that and then blend mode and everything. So yeah, according to their blog post or video, wherever I saw it, so it's kind of like a stacking order. So like a pattern would be behind a mask, I think. In fact, let me add both, right? There, there I did, I did add both. So the polka dot pattern is in a sense behind the mask, if that makes sense. Now, what if I would add a gradient? Okay, the same thing, the gradient is behind. Um, well, okay, and if I added an image, it would do the same thing, okay. That is cool, so a mask is kind of like the upper level, but it's still not above the content. And that's why I was showing this, like if I would go to even my text module here and put a white background, you know, it's, it's thankfully not hiding that. That would be ridiculous. So that's it's well done. Wow, I guess I showed you everything. Um, I don't know that I will use it that much. Um, there is definitely a place for some of this, for sure. Some of it you could do fine before, you know, adding a, adding a uploading your own as a background image and stuff. But yeah, um, I guess leave your comments to tell me you know, if you think this is a valuable update, it makes sense that they're doing this kind of update. If you take a look at my um, analysis of Divi past, present, and future that I just posted, um, you know, the really long video, it's like 45 minutes. That, keeping that in context shows you why they're doing updates like this. Um, in fact, there's going to be another update related to the background soon. Um, there's gonna be a gradient a gradient update. You're gonna be able to build your gradient rather than just choose one and two colors. So that's a teaser. Um, that'll be probably their next feature. But again, it's kind of like um, the updates that they can release while they're rebuilding the foundation of Divi. So anyway, um, I don't know if that was helpful at all, but I guess if you were curious about the update and wanted to get that look at it, then this was helpful in that case. So hopefully, um, we'll look forward to some new updates, and if you're not subscribed here, every Tuesday I do a tutorial related to Divi, and I hope you will enjoy that, and that's what you'll get if you're subscribed. All right, well, we'll see you all in the next video.